Good morning, science learners! Welcome to another science learning episode for quarter 3, week 1. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to Number 1. Describe how sounds produce. Number 2. Describe how sound travels in solid, liquid, and air. But before we begin, please prepare your science notebook, ball pen, and please take note of the important concepts of our today's lesson. Are you all Amazing. ready? Great! Let's begin! Can you still recall our past lesson? Good! Let me check if you can still recall our past lesson by answering this quick review. You may write your answer below this video. Have you wondered how sounds are produced? Sound is important to all living things. Some animals produce sounds as a form of communicating, while others make sound as a signal for incoming danger. Can you imagine your life without a sound? Let's learn more about how sounds are produced by performing our first activity. The materials here are plastic ruler and table. Here are the directions. Get a plastic ruler and press one end along the edge of the table by holding it down firmly. Number two, push or press down the free end then release it suddenly. Observe what happens when you release the free end of the ruler. Number three, hold the ruler while it is still in motion. Observe what happens. Number four, repeat number two and number three for three times. Observe what happens. Number five, record all observations in your science note. Here are the guide questions. What happened to the ruler when you suddenly release it? Number two, how do you describe the movement of the ruler? Number three, did you hear a sound? And number four, did the sound coming from the moving ruler suddenly stop when you held it? When you release it again? When objects make sounds, they move back and forth. This movement is called vibration. Without vibration, there will be no sound. There are imaginary waves produced when an object vibrates. We call these sound waves. A sound wave travels at different speed through different media. A sound travels, a sound wave is created in response to a vibration and how easily they move back to their original position. When a vibration is slow, slow-moving waves are produced. When the vibration is fast, fast-moving waves are produced until such time that the vibration stops. The travel of sound is slow when the vibration is slow. It is fast when the vibration is fast. Sound is produced when something is hit or plucked so that it begins to vibrate. Sound cannot travel in a vacuum. Let us learn more about how sounds travel in different medium and in what medium 
does the sound travel faster? Let us perform this activity. Here are the materials. Small pail, half filled with water. Two pieces of medium-sized stool. A table or a chair, preferably made of wood or steel. Drum or drumstick or any container that produces sound when tapped with a stick. Here are the directions. Find a table or a chair. Gently tap the table or the chair with your palm. What did you hear? Do this for at least five times with different strengths of tapping. Try from gentle to a hard tap. Observe the sound you produce with each tap. Tap to medium-sized stone in a pail filled with water. Be careful not to spill the water when you tap the stones. Observe what happens when the stones hit each other. Can you hear a sound? Do this for at least five times. Number three, do this in an open area and with a partner. Let your partner stay at least 10 meters away from you. Strike a drum with drum stick or any container that produces sound when tapped with a stick. Can both of you hear the sound of the drum produced? Strike the drum with different strength. Try it from a gentle tap to a hard tap. Take note of the sound that is produced. Here are the guide questions. Did you hear a sound when you tap the table or chair with a stick? What happened to the sound when you tap the table with different strengths? Were you able to produce a sound when you struck or hit two stones together underwater? Were you able to hear the sound produced underwater? Number four, did the sound coming from the drum reach the person away from it? And number five, in which situation sound travel fastest? When sound travel in solid? When sound travel in water or when sound travel in air. Sound is a type of energy made by vibrations. When any object vibrates, it causes movement of the air particles. These particles bump to the particles close to them, causing them to vibrate. Sound could be produced and has ability to travel through solid, liquid, and gases. If the particles are very close to each other, sound wave passes quickly. This is observed in solid materials. In most liquid, the particles are not attracted as strongly to each other as those in solid particles. Sound waves tend to move a little less and bounce back slowly than in a solid. In a gas such as air, sound waves travel most slowly. The particles of gas are not attracted to each other as strongly as the particles in liquid. Thus, sound waves travel slowly. Sound travels differently in different types of materials. Sound travels fastest in solid, slower in liquid, and slowest in air. 